Today we are talking about Airy. Airy is a brand new topper from Uniwig's new Swiss Luxe Lace Collection. Their new lace collection has an extended front lace that can be worn all the way to the front of your hairline. And then this of course is just trimmed back to personal preference. The new lace is super lightweight and soft, but very, very true to her name, Airy. She also has some wefting sewn in with a six and a half by seven inch base altogether. Something I do want to point out about this particular topper is just how see-through the Swiss lace is. It's really ultra transparent. You have to get super close up in there to even notice those knots, which makes it beautiful for blending so much easier with blending and if you don't like the little bit of knots that you can see you can use a little bit of foundation powder but you'll see when she's on that you might not even need that i'll go ahead and put her on for you now i do like to kind of do this like on and off thing so that you can see first of all how much more coverage i have and second of all you can see just what the part line looks like on and off but it just it's so nice. It's so transparent. I love it. I really love the base of this topper and I'm going to tell you why. We're going to talk about a couple other um, toppers that Unowigs also offers in this, this same collection. But what I love about this particular topper is the base size because it gives you, I feel like, just the right amount of coverage for someone with my type of hair loss where I need, I still need that coverage in the back. But I don't want a giant topper that's gonna go all the way down here. I want something a little in between. So this is Airy right out of the box. I have not done anything to her. I've not added any curl. I've not changed the part line. I've not even trimmed back that lace yet. I want you to be able to see what she looks like right out of the box so you know what she looked like before versus after I've made alterations to her. So this is her right out of the box. She has that beautiful hand-tied Swiss lace area, but she also has some extra wefting, which is going to give you more coverage in the back. The total base size, as I mentioned before, is six and a half by seven. So it's a nice in-between. And for someone with my type of hair loss, this is a really good option because it does still give you coverage in the back, but it's lightweight and airy. If we take a look at this topper on a mannequin head, it kind of gives you an idea for what kind of coverage this particular topper will provide and how far down the back of the head it will go. So as you can see, it mostly is isolated to the top of the head. It's really not going to extend too far down on the side. What I really love about this particular topper is the placement of the clips. I feel like where they are placed feels very secure and comfortable for me, but it also still has that advantage of having the lace extend all the way. So it really can be worn all the way to the front of your hairline. Now, because the Swiss lace is very soft, it may need, um, you may need to use a little bit of wig glue or tape right at the front to help hold it down if you plan to wear it all the way to the front of your hairline. That is all personal preference, um, but it is something to consider when purchasing a lace front topper. Now, when trimming the lace on your topper, do be sure to pull the hair back away from the lace so that you're not accidentally trimming any of that hair. You wanna keep as much of the hair as possible. And I do typically leave um, about a quarter of an inch in case I want to trim back the lace a little bit more later. You can do that and that way the lace, um, if it starts to fray or anything, can just gently be trimmed. So don't trim too much off. You can always trim more later, Start slowly and then increase the trimming if you need to. Okay, my lace is trimmed, so I'll go ahead and put her on again for you. But if you've been watching my videos at all, you know that one of the first things I do when I get a new topper is I change the part line to make it look more realistic. However, with this particular topper, I don't find the need to do that because the lace, like I said, is just so transparent. I might mess up the part line a little bit, a little bit but like look at that it looks so good already that I just don't find the need to mess it up that much to make it look more realistic realistic because I think it already looks really great okay so this is her lace trimmed back 
Um, I'm really happy with how flat the lace lays on this topper. It seems to fit me really, really well. Um, everybody ha everybody's head shape is a little bit different. So you might find that the topper for you um, needs a little bit of wig glue or tape, like I said before, but it might fit you perfectly. So don't stress about that. So this is her worn all the way to the front of my hairline. I have a little bit of my own baby hairs kind of poking through a little bit, but it's mostly just the topper that you see right there in front. We'll take a look at the back. But I'm also gonna show you what she looks like if you wear her slightly behind your hairline so you can see both ways. Okay, I've put her on just slightly behind my hairline. You can kind of see, kind of, cause she's so good, kind of see where she is. And then what I'm gonna to do to help it look more realistic is to brush my bio hair up and through the topper. I might change up my part a little bit because I am a little thin in through here. And then I would add a little bit of hair building fibers. I would also take my blow dryer and blow dry the hair up and away from my face, both my hair and the topper hair. But this is what she looks like, set slightly behind my hairline. Oh, she's really pretty. Let's add some curl to her and see what we can do about this transition. Okay, so I threw in a few quick curls, super quick curls, and a little bit of hair building fiber right at that front transition, just to help hide it a little bit. And this is what she looks like. I'm really pleased, I think she's beautiful. I love the length, this is 16 inches. And I didn't do anything to that part line. Like I said before, I might adjust it ever so slightly, but I mean, it's pretty good. You would have to get really, really close to be able to notice anything. You can pull this into a low pony. You can use a claw clip. And you could probably even pull her half up, depending on how much bio hair you have a con for this topper. I like the Burmese hair. You know, Wigs usually makes a lot of their toppers with Burmese hair. I really like that because right now she's beautiful and sleek and shiny right out of the box, but it doesn't match my bio hair. My bio hair is not this sleek and shiny. So I actually prefer getting my toppers wet right away to kind of give it that natural texture because I, very little people have like gorgeous, shiny, sleek hair like this. If you do, you're one of the lucky ones. I don't, and it just doesn't match the texture of my hair. So I really, really like the Burmese hair because it does dry a little wavy and with texture. Not everybody does, so just remember when you're ordering to make sure you realize what kind of hair it's made out of. This one is made out of Burmese hair. Another option, if you're having a hard time with the lace or the blend or getting it to lie perfectly flat, some people like to cut bangs into their topper. Personally, in my everyday topper, I have like a curtain bang kind of cut in so that I can wear a middle part and have it blend a lot easier. I really like the curtain bang. I think it adds like a little bit of flair to my topper. Um, so you could cut in a bang, you could cut in a curtain bang, and that would make your blend so much 